Hey, good evening, Coastal Bend. Christmas Eve might be just over a week away, but we are on the eve of the Refurio Bobcats going for yet another state championship in their storied history. Ashley Gonzalez has more from AT&T Stadium on some Bobcats that have been there before, but not as high schoolers. Hey there, South Texas. I'm Ashley Gonzalez in Arlington at the AT&T Stadium, AKA home of the Dallas Cowboys. Now we're just hours away from kickoff between the number four Rafael Bobcats and the number two Howley Bearcats. Now Rafael is used to this stage. They have five state titles to prove it, but now they're looking to add a new state title to that trophy case. We put in the work day, day in and day out, so it'll mean It'll, it'll mean everything. It'll be a, a blessing, you know. So we'll, when we do go out there, we're going to put everything we got into it. We're not going to waste it. The dream started before these boys even laced up at Bobcat Stadium. That trip, it was amazing, you know. This um, was a little seventh grader, you know. I mean, I, mean, I played I play QB in junior high, so I knew like, like two to four years from now, we're going to be in that stadium one day. So just knowing that we're going, is, is, it means the world. The dream that we had since we were little kids playing Pee Wee football, watching the high schoolers play on Friday night. So, you know, it would be, be a huge accomplishment to, for us to actually accomplish that one day. Making it all the way to the biggest stage wasn't something that fell on Rufijo's lap. It was earned and manifested as a team. We stay together, make tackles, wrap up, just finish, finish in a dominant position. The community of Rufijo shows up for their team. It's a football town filled with pride for their boys. But these guys show up for them. And we've got incredible support from our community. We've got the best superintendent in the state. We've got the best principal in the state. We've got the best school board in the state. They let us do our job. Herring knows the state game is never a walk in the park, especially against Howley, who, like them, play a different type of game. Holly's probably the best passing team we've seen. You know, they're quite a bit different. They're not quite as fast as Timson and, and Shiner, but they're very well coached. They execute the spread offense very well. They, their tempo, they're going to play fast. Kickoff is set for 11 a.m. tomorrow. Me and Chris Thomason will have your highlights. Reporting from Arlington, I'm Ashley Gonzalez. Back to you. All right, thanks, yeah. Ashley. And hey, the game will be on Bally Sports Southwest. If you don't get that channel, we presented some other options. You can find that online.